underneath to Roger Craig, and it'll be six. Here in the, uh, we call it the plus 20 area, or close to the other team's goal, you'll see this is where Miami tries to play a lot of man-to-man -man defense. There goes Blackwood crossing with the back. Craig comes underneath. His linebacker got caught in the mesh and runs in untested. Roger Craig, Joe. First and 10 49ers at the Ram 16. Craig and Craig is going to score his third touchdown of the day. What a remarkable runner he is. You know what he does? He makes all defenses look like they're bad tacklers. Remember, we did the giant game where we said the Giants' defense isn't a good tackling defense today. The Ram defense is not a good tackling defense today, but Roger Craig makes your defense not a good tackling Well, watch it again. Well, you know, the, the thing that he can do is what he never, he keeps his shoulders square going upfield. He keeps his knees high. He keeps his feet going. He never stops the feet. The feet never get planted. So you never have anything stationary to tackle. Those feet are always going in and out of the ground. The knees are going up and down, and the shoulders are down. Now, that's an amazing combination of what you can do with a body. He looks like he's running a hurdle race right there. Points on the board on him this year. If they're still 12 and 3, and going 12 and 4, and they're going to be in the playoffs. And they're going to be right there. Okay, the first game at home, and Roger Craig, look at this. I think Dwayne Thomas, does that look like Dwayne and Thomas? And did, 33 the whole bit. That's right. Hey, he got away from a good, hard-hitting tackle with Bill Bates, and he hardly broke stride as he kicked through the arm for Bill Bates into the end zone. That's that high, mean sort of gliding style. You're really right. And that doesn't look like me Dwayne Thomas. That's why. <laughs> I love Blaine's comment about the ultimate biggest Super Bowl. We see if it's going to have one next year. Did a nice job. He went up into the line like he was picking up a, a backer. And he Not just... a bad catch right there, huh? Very nice catch. Now, here's the move. Let's slide right on first. Yeah. With the catch of the so it's great to throw. Looking, looking, short throw caught by Roger Craig. Cuts it hard inside the yes. 10 to the 5. Touchdown, Vikings! Roger Craig! Way to go, Roger. Roger Craig. Six defensive backs in there for the Vikings. Montana going for Craig all alone. He's got it. Five. Penalty marker down. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. But a penalty marker as was thrown as Roger Craig was wide open on the right side. Holding defense. It'll count. 30, touchdown. 18 five. yards. Touchdown. And Craig has scored his second touchdown of the game. And the 49ers have moved in front now 13 to 7. Watch 55 stud while the linebacker. He has coverage right here. He starts out in pretty good shape, but Craig just too fast for him with no help from any defensive backs. They kind of know where the rest of them went. They're <laughs> really, there should have been a free safety or somebody over there helping him out. Studwell had him all the way to the corner, and there's just no way. The driving with 6.20 to go. First and 10 at the 19. Chris Dolman, the rookie from Pitt, replaces Matt Blair. Montana. Lost it up for Craig. He's there. He's in. Touchdown. Same play. They just can't get to him. Studwell can't keep up with him on that play. 19 yards, and Roger Craig, who scored three touchdowns in the Super Bowl against the Dolphins, has scored three in this opening game against the Vikings. The Minnesota screen, watch, watch uh, Studwell again. He'll be over the middle. He's out a little step further this time and has a better chance, but it's still not going to work. He just can't stay with him. Montana's picked it up twice in a row and gotten it out there with no help for Studwell. Rubens Bell Montana up the middle of Roger Craig. Touchdown, San Francisco. And for Roger Craig, that is his sixth touchdown of the season. And what a tremendous start for the third year running back from Nebraska. 20-yard pass play. Craig comes out of the backfield to the right. They clear with the tight end. He runs a circle pattern. 
past Matt Millen, number 55, and in for six. Okay. Look at the San Francisco touchdown. Roger Craig, left to your screen. Now, the way you want to play this as a linebacker is keep him out of that middle. And you see Matt Millen overran it a little bit on his drop. Craig got in, and Montana had the easy throw inside. You pointed out that 14 points. They played people tough, but they lost. Third down and four on the 20. Quick handoff. Craig's going to score. The quick handoff. They caught Cleveland in a nickel defense and busted it loose for a touchdown by the fullback. Well, just a great call from the 49er sideline. Only four and a touch. Take a peek at it right here, as good as you're going to see it. You know, it's just kind of like a, a, a draw play. It almost, in a way, Fred Quill in the center sent up like it was going to be a pass, and everybody took their pass rush up there. and then Including Roger Craig's 20-yard touchdown. Running backs keyed San Francisco's attack. Not only are huddling, it is their day in the sun. It's a beautiful day here, by the way. 78 degrees in Southern California. Second down seven. Montana coolly throwing for Craig, who has it at the 20. Look out. No flags are down. And that ball was softly thrown over a defender. A 35-yard touchdown. And Dickerson doesn't like it either. I don't believe that was a design play. Now watch the back, number 33, out of the right of your screen. Now there's a scramble move. We go to the sideline, then he turns up the sideline because the quarterback rolled toward him. Johnny Johnson, number 20, lost him right there watching the quarterback roll out. Broke his discipline in the coverage. Five catches for 135. It's third down, now in 14. Cavanaugh has him back to where he started originally. Going for Craig, he's wide open at the 18. Craig to the... He's all the way to the end zone for a touchdown. The Eagles tried to get him out of bounds and couldn't even do that. Looks like they almost had him close to out of bounds, just inside the five and not. But, well, I'll tell you what, that was a great read by Kavanaugh. He looked over and had Craig running with the linebacker, Jerry Robinson. That's where he wanted to go, and we're not talking about a slow linebacker either. Jerry Robinson can run. But look at this, a great touch on this ball. Lofted it over. That was the man that was the most open of anybody, and Kavanaugh found him right away. Couldn't get him out of bounds. Craig. Robinson right here. There it is right there. Now he's got to turn around and run. And remember, Tommy, you mentioned about Roger Craig's speed. Now look at him put some distance between himself and that linebacker. And Jerry Robinson once ran a 9-9 when he was in high school. So he's one of the fastest linebackers in the league, but couldn't Boy. keep up with number 33. This versatile Pro Bowl performer caught more passes than any running back in the NFL. But when it comes to receiving routes, one address looms large in 49er history. Green Bay Square, I've always said donuts work. You know, you get some sinkers in there and, you, and they give those guys a little extra weight. Roger Craig, still on his feet, still running. What a run by Roger Craig. You'll never see a better one than that. From 46 yards. going to be in a lot of highlights for a long time. What an effort by Roger Craig. John Robinson was just saying yesterday, he thinks right now Roger Craig is the best running back in the league. And I can see why. You know, he has that thing of getting those knees high and keeping the shoulders low. And he makes every team look like they're bad tacklers. Watch the way he gets that high knee action, keeps those feet going like two pistons. Then, at the same time that the knees are going high and keeping going, the shoulder can get low to take on a tackler. I tell you, that is an amazing... You know, the interesting thing, Pat, it was first down. Now, the Rams are in their nickel. Look, they got three here, two here, because the 49ers have three wide receivers. Spread them out. Now, here's Guy McIntyre. Watch him come. Boom. Trap right here. The center block's back here. Craig gets it straight up the middle. But it was first down. Rams in nickel to rush the passer. Boom. That trap hit it. And then that's all you have to do is give this guy a little opening. Let him get into that secondary. And let those... Lynn Eshmont Award in 1985. And this kind of respect motivates one of the game's rising stars.
And I don't ever want to let my teammates down because they mean a lot to me. He just has a running style that to me is most reminiscent of a great back of many, many years ago, Hugh McElhaney. He's a slashing type runner. So if we can develop plays in which the defenders are moving. Third down and 10. The ball is on the 36. Montana's offense has gotten two field goals, period. The blitz is on. A great pass to Craig. Look out to the out of bounds. There's he free. Roger Craig down the sidelines. Cutting back inside and looks like a touchdown. Are there any flags? What an effort. And a great little off-speed throw by Joe Montana. Yes, and you know who had the coverage on Roger Craig out in the flat before the, the Rams had a blitz on it? It was Jack Youngblood, the defensive end, actually had the penalty, but it, Mr. Frederick just informed us that's what it was. Watch the throw here out to Craig, and look who's out there trying to cover number 85, Jack Youngblood. Look right there. That's a defensive end on a halfback, and you're not going to get it done. So they took a gamble, and it didn't pay off for the Rams, but it certainly did for the 49ers. Six points all the way down the sideline. A pretty good effort here at the end as he cuts back in. Eric Harris gets him around about the seven-yard line, and, and Craig made a good tough run there to last. The Dallas Cowboys. Second down. Craig is out in the open, and off to the races. Roger Craig. Turn it on, Roger. Next guy or the first guy in the end zone with him. 